Okay, so today we're going to talk about special right triangles. That's one of the topics in your goal topic list for the trig section. Okay, um, you're going to be looking at two specific types of triangles, okay? They're the 45, 45, 90, which is, let's see, it's right here. Your 45, 45, 90 is this one right there. And then you're going to look at your... Um, 30, 60, 90, which is right there. Okay, so you got 30, 60, 90, you have 45, 45, 90. It's pretty easy to see which one's which. You got to know which one's which because they both have a specific rule. Okay, um, you're going to want to have this in your notes right next to you as you're doing this problem. Okay, so jot that down in your notes. You want to have that right next to you because that is our rules that we're going to follow here. Okay, so. The first one we'll, we'll attack is the 45, 45, 90. I feel like it's a little bit easier. So let's try that. You're going to be looking for this B. Okay, we don't know what B is, but we know B is going to be related right here. Okay, so it's going to be B is X root 2. Okay, and then because it's the hypotenuse with the hypotenuse. Okay, so the side lengths are both the same. This one's 3. Okay, so 3. And we're going to call it x. All right, so set it up. Set it up like an algebra, algebraic equation and solve. That's always going to be your easiest route, okay? So if you're solving, setting it up like an algebraic equation, you're going to do this. You're going to say, okay, b is equal to x root 2, and 3 is equal to x. So that tells me that... I'm just going to take this 3 and sub it into this other equation to figure out what b is. Okay, so here we go. So b is going to be equal to 3 root 2. It's that easy. Okay, so there you go. And uh, that's that's your answer for, for the 45, 45, 90. b is 3 root 2. Okay, so you're just simply setting up what you know, solving for what you don't know. And that's what you're doing in this whole entire section. Okay, so let's take the uh, 30, 60, 90. We'll do it in right over here. Okay, so highlighting. Let me highlight a little bit and show you which one's which. So here you go. Here's your hypotenuse, which is going to be the 2x, but we don't need that. All right, our base, the opposite of the 30 degree angle right here is h. Okay, so opposite of 30 degree, here's the 30 degree, opposite of it, x. Okay, so h is x, and let's not, might as well just jot that down. So h is equal to x and then we're going to look at the other one so the other one says 2 is on that that opposite of the 60 so here's the 60 opposite of the 60 it says it's x root 3 so okay so let's set that up we got so 2 is equal to x root 3 okay great so all we're going to do is solve Okay, so if we know that x root 3 is equal to 2, and we're trying to figure out what h is, we just need to solve for x, and then we got h. So to solve for h, we're just going to take this bottom equation, and we're going to divide both sides by root 3. Okay, and it's a little sloppy, and I'm still kind of working on this. Okay, so divide both sides by root 3, and what happens is these cancel. Those are gone. Now we're left with x equals 2 over root 3, okay? Which this would be our answer, but we're going to want to simplify it, okay? So that's true. That That is what that side length is equal to, but what the problem here is we have a radical in the denominator, so we don't want that. In order to get rid of this radical in the denominator, okay, we're going to rationalize the denominator. This is how we rationalize it, okay? So, here, let me give myself a little more space. Okay, so we're going to break down 2 root 3. So, 2 divided by root 3. To rationalize it, you're going to multiply both the top and the bottom by root 3. Okay? All right. So the advantage of multiplying the top and the bottom by root 3 is it doesn't change the value because root 3 over root 3 is just simply 1, okay? So I'm multiplying anything by 1, it doesn't change what it is. But what happens here is what do you get when you multiply 
root 3 times root 3. You get 3, okay? What happens when you multiply 2 by root 3? You just get 2 root 3, okay? So there you go. Now, by mul now that I don't have a radical on the bottom, everybody's happy. We're just fine, and this is your final answer right here. Okay. So what we did is we divided by root three on both sides. We got x is equal to two, or x is equal to two divided by root three, and we rationalized the denominator to get two root three over three, and then that's going to be your solution. Okay. So that's what h is equal to. Okay. So h is equal to this guy. Okay. And then we're done. All right.